Hi, welcome to this video where I just wanted to share some tips that I always do when it comes to the end of the year. And it's extra special as we're going to be moving into a new decade. So I wanted to just share some of the journaling prompts that I use and hopefully they'll be helpful for you. I always love to spend time at the end of December reflecting on the year that's been. I find it incredibly useful to think about all the things that I've done and just to honour them in my attention and to reflect back and to really appreciate um, all the amazing things that have happened. So first thing I want to share is when you're journaling always find like a bit of time where you can just be really relaxed and you have got some literal space around you and also some space in your mind to be able to dedicate to it. I am a big fan of getting a nice notebook, a nice pen and just really enjoying the writing process as well. So first things first, one number one. What I always do is chronologically go through each month and think about the things that I have done and write them down. So I would start with January 2019 and then go from there. Um, and then, you know, naturally what happens is as you're, as you're writing, you'll find that more things will come to your head and suddenly you're, you're kind of going down memory lane and it's a really beautiful process. Then once you've written down your highlights, something that I thought about more recently is, okay, what are the lessons? And they can be lessons from positives and they can also be lessons from things that maybe at the time didn't feel so good. So either what are your top lessons, perhaps your top three, think about those and write them down. And then in terms of 2020, I'm not someone who writes like New Year's resolutions. However, um, what I have found when I've like received coaching, for example, is having kind of three areas, like three top areas where I want to focus my attention towards is incredibly helpful. So spend some time thinking about what are those areas for you. For example, for me this year, one key thing was my business. And that for that, I really wanted to focus on running retreats. And because I had that focus, I had it written down, I looked at it every day, I started running more retreats this year. So for sure it works. So have a go with that. And then next, have a think about the past decade. So, 10 years, oh, what were your top five highlights in the past 10 years? Maybe you have more. I don't wanna to be too prescriptive about how many I think you should write because let's be honest, it can fluctuate greatly. So have a think though what your top ones were. And then also, what were the biggest lessons for you? I'm sure that in 10 years, a lot of things have come up and it's a beautiful practice to go back and have a think. I mean, in the past 10 years, I've gone from an early 20 year old to an early now 30 year old and 30s and uh, there has been so many lessons in that time my goodness and I've changed a lot so it's nice to have a think back on that time and then also as well like when we're thinking about the things that we want to nourish and we want to bring in in order to bring something in we have to let things go to make space and for sure that is that is true like you need to be able to whether that is from a physical sense of letting something go or it's a mindset it's a belief that's perhaps not serving you like what are the things that need to clear out for you to bring the things in that you want in 2020 so have a think about that as well like what is no longer serving you write these things down and then what I like to do is to write everything out and kind of just let it, you know, um, like a, almost just like blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like I am now, everything just flows out um, and then go back to it a few days later and have a look and have a read through. Um, I keep my journals as well, I always like to go back and have a look at them. So um, that's why I think it's nice to use a nice journal and to make it a little bit of a special um, kind of ritual as well. So those are my tips for this end of the year and I hope it's helpful for you. I would also really be interested to know um, 
how you spend your time reflecting on the, the year, the decade, however you like to do it. So if you want to share with me, please do pop it in the comments below and let's share some ideas. And on that note, I really hope you have a wonderful new year and a very beautiful start to 2020 and I hope that it brings you everything that you want to, to create and bring to fruition and so much more beyond that. So thank you for watching. Bye.